Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'll play Greyzone Warfare for the first time and I'll try to show you the single player gameplay of how I completed my first 3 tasks. The game is pretty much like Tarkov for me but not that hardcore, the price <laughs> of the game is not that hardcore either. And get this, you can even play single player without paying 250 bucks. How can it be, man? I mean, how are these guys managed with the server load? My god, it's like black magic or something. Whatever, I'm not going to continue shitting on Nikita even if I could do it for 20 minutes straight. In the menus I customized some hotkeys maxed out graphics only because I can change the server because for some reason I was on Asia East and deployed in single player, having no clue what to expect. I can already tell this game looks gorgeous, from the menus it reminds me of Crisis. Loading in, I turn my back to other players to not shoot someone in the back by accident. And I test some hotkeys while looking at the pretty graphics. Each faction has a base on the map. Mine is south. You can open this by pressing tab by the way. It's like I remember Tarkov's layout to be honest. Vendors have a reputation system and I think they unlock better stuff as you gain some of that. To gain it I think I need to do some chores for them. So I went and accepted my first task from Handshake. I need to recorder a few locations for him. The rewards are currency, reputation, XP and a couple of other things. The second vendor is called Gunny. For some ammo, grenades and all that I get his mission too. I need to find and mark some locations for him. The last vendor I have unlocked at this point is Labrat. <laughs> I need to retrieve some medical supplies for her. Yeah. Then I look at my inventory and I get those GPS trackers I have no clue what to do, so I take them with me. And after I screw around the base for a while I call the chopper and take off, going to the first LZ I saw. Funnily enough I have no idea where I'm going or what I'm doing, as by this point I still didn't understand my tasks. Not that I've read any of them, thank you World of Warcraft, but man this game looks cool. And I got 140-ish FPS. Nice. After I land I run straight to the first building I see in the vicinity. I open the map but I have no clue what I'm looking for, so YOLO. I see two NPCs I believe and I start shooting them. Uh, or at least I hope they are NPCs. Oh yeah, th they are definitely acting like NPCs. <laughs> Don't laugh at my aim, I suck at shooters. I'll drop this guy eventually, I promise. Any day now. Then I back off to some cover realizing I stand exactly like those NPCs in the middle of the road. First mag gun, and I believe I got four. <laughs> oh my god, Jesus. I killed the first one who was a good chap and came close. The second one who had all the time in the world to find cover or try to flank me was sitting there waiting for me to finish his spell. Good boy. By the time my second mag is out, I think I managed a headshot or something. Now I hope they use the same ammo as me. And bad luck of course, they don't. Being a loot goblin I take everything I can, the SKS and some bullets, meds and so on. The second one had an AKM. And I think I prefer that one over the SKS, as I need more bullets <laughs> to make something happen as you already saw. So I swap the weapons. And I drink a soda. 
as this game has hunger, thirst and all the good stuff. Going further in, I stumble upon a player who is looting, I believe. Man, I'm so paranoid around other people because I'm afraid some friendly may shoot me or something. But with both do the wiggle who killed Tarkov and move on. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Nikita, man. I couldn't resist. Going further, I see an NPC. I'm sure no player runs around in this area naked like this chap. I drop him with only a few bullets. Wow, progress. Then I change weapons as I have only a few bullets left and move on. I'm in the center of that town by this point and I'm surrounded by players. I stay off road as much as I can for obvious reasons. Bodies everywhere. Everywhere I look. But I'm too paranoid to stop and look at any... What the hell? I think he's dead. Hello! Holy... Nope. Screw this. No idea what I'm doing, man. I miss my World of Warcraft map markers. Oh, and you get XP when you discover locations. Nice. After that construction site, I take a right and see another bad guy. I know I could at least prone to mimic a professional, but doesn't cross my mind. This weapon is not fun to aim with, but it's okay. I somehow managed to drop him pretty fast. Going to check the loot, but being on the bridge, even I think of dropping to the ground. Then everyone is running AKMs. Guess I won't have ammo issues with this gun. Okay, so I'm pausing the footage here for a bit and I will show you what is what's going on. Because soon after this point I figured things out. On the left and the bottom of the map you see coordinates, right? Well, this is it really. The tasks display next to each objective these coordinates and they even give hints like Lombard Yard or next to the water tower and, or gas station, etc. See, I'm at... Uh, 171 and 118. Nice. Feels good to figure things out. I open the Mac to check my findings and I notice even the cursor has coordinates next to it. But then I realize I'm in the very bad spot to plan my next move so I decide to go inside. Oh man, it's so, it's so stressful. I'm surrounded by players here. I go inside the building to check my map and my tasks to finally stop running around like an idiot and focus on my missions. I went to climb uh, the building and plan my moves but sadly I found out I can't climb this ladder. Not realistic enough guys, come on. Nikita would implement such, uh, such a feature for only $99, I'm sure of it. All this running around with the backpack in the sun made me thirsty. Time to hydrate. After some more exploring, I found the marketplace. Then I see the water tower and I think I need to go there. Now where's the package? Around here somewhere. I need to find some medicine for Labrat. Yep, not here. Nope, not there. Spoiler alert, the package is in the building. I found that out after I looked inside each tent outside. I take the case after I make some room in my inventory. No idea if I can rotate the items like in EFT to play some Tetris in, in my backpacks. Nice. 
Now time to mark the cash in the warehouse and the lumber yard. They are pretty close. I put a waypoint on my PDA at 172 and 117 and go there. Shitty way to go. I'm sorry man. I found my warehouse and going around it to find an opening I get more XP. That confused me for a second thinking my objective is done. Uh, no. So this is what I needed to do with my GPS trackers. I had to take them with me after all. Oh well, time to find the lumber yard. Man, this game looks really cool. Now I go on the outside, avoiding the streets and the gunfire, going around the convenience store and the water tower. I did find some carnage on my way there, but no enemies inside. I arrived there and after I ran around like an idiot for 5 or so minutes, I ran around some more, looking for a crate, I suppose. Nope. Nope. And nope. And I was looking at all the wrong places. Damn, it happens, now you don't have to do it. No, I only need to do first recon and I'm done. Two more spots to go. This would be the waypoint to the gas station. Ooh, check, check out the reflection in this water. Man, a real engine is so cool when used right. I go past some rice fields, I believe, towards my objective. Yeah, and thank god this one is easy and by just getting there it completes. Thank you, game. Now demolished building and I'm done. I hope I don't die and lose all progress. No idea if this is the case by the way, but I suspect it is. Bloody savages, man. I traverse the town on the main road this time, like Rambo. What, what could go wrong, right? I go from cover to cover, at least. There you go, at least I got some XP. I see this chap who's clearly an NPC, I can recognize them by this point. Did he say he's on my left side? <laughs> okay, sure man, well, let's do this. As my heart skipped a few bits, I'm all over the place but I drop him. I'm close to my objective but I hear at least two NPCs who are yapping something. Here I somehow fail to realize <laughs> he can shoot me through the window and open the map like an idiot. Pissed at myself, at least I make it quick. But now I need to heal as I sound like I'm going to die any second. Having no clue what, uh, what to use, I plan to use everything. 
in my infinite wisdom I start with splinters <laughs> while well, I bleed heavily. I think uh, bandage first would be the, the smart choice in this instance. Yeah, chuck those pills. My eyesight is not how it used to be, but that what can you do? Once you once you're getting older, uh, is is just a way of life, man. There's all kinds of status effects uh, on my character. I meet a chap who also got wrecked like I did a minute ago and I feel for him, but no time to lose, I must extract. The nearest LZ is west of my position. If I run even a bit, my palms are sweaty and I bleed like an old man after a marathon. This is Raven, arriving shortly near your position. ETA, one minute. I try to call the chopper, but I fail to realize you call the transport by picking the destination. A bit counterintuitive, but sure, it makes sense. It saves you another click or two later when you need to pick the actual destination. It's nice you can shoot from the helicopter. So cool, man. I feel like a veteran looking at all this fresh meat uh, flying in after I land. Sad because I know they will see what I saw and perhaps will not be so lucky to return. Now time to cut the bullshit and tell the vendors about my exploits. I'm confused as I can't turn in my tasks. There you go. Yeah, give me those munitions. And I'm level 2. Nice. And then I safely end the deployment. And I go home and relax for a bit and perhaps tomorrow I will go for another tour. Cool little game, not gonna lie. It scratched my stalker itch for a bit and I might even try a multiplayer at some point. Depending on your feedback, I'll continue to make these videos. If not, I might stop after one more. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care and see ya.